this demo, we'll show Genie Space. Genie is a AI BI feature that Databricks just released at Data and AI Summit 2024. And with Genie, you're able to ask natural language questions about the data set without having to code in SQL or Python or having to build a pre-designed business intelligence dashboard. And with Genie, organizations can truly democratize data in the hands of people who actually need access to it. So here I am in the Genie space. I'm an end user. I don't know what data is in here. I do know what TCGA stands for, which is the Cancer Genome Atlas, which is a very robust research data set about cancer. I'm excited to explore what's in here. So the first thing I can do is to get Jeannie to either give me sample questions or explain the data set. So here what Jeannie will do is to look at the metadata about the tables in this Jeannie space and give me a summary of you know, the descriptions, the comments, the relationships between different tables. And you can see here that I got demographics data, the exposure data, diagnosis. So I can maybe find out if there's a relationship between either the years smoked versus lung cancer, or I can find out about the demographics of people who have certain types of cancer, that kind of things. So let's get started. Um, we'll ask top line questions first. Uh, what type of cancer is in this data set? So let's do top 25 uh, cancer types. So now Jeannie is thinking and translating this text into SQL for me. As you can see, it's listed all the primary diagnosis and uh, uh, did a count of the cases and did it in descending order, which is very nice. And I can see the SQL code associated with it or SQL codes used to generate these results. And I can then visualize it. I can dictate what kind of visualization I want, or I can let Genie auto visualize, which Genie will pick the most appropriate um, visualization type for me. Uh, as you can see, it's picked the uh, bar chart and I have all the answers that I was asking for. Now, I don't know these cancer names. These are very low medical names. I just want to know which ones are actually lung cancer. So I'm going to ask which cancers origin it's in the Again, Jeannie is now um, translating my text into SQL, giving me a list, which is interesting because I don't know how it figured out these primary diagnosis is associated with lung. I can see the description says it's trying to look at tissue or organs of origin that's related to lung. And if I look at the SQL query, that's exactly what uh, the column, the uh, Genie used to generate the SQL. So I quite like how Genie is able to figure out originate is a fuzzy match to this column. And um, I can add this as a instruction and basically train Genie's behavior and try to get Genie to behave like this in the future as well. And, um, and now I can look at maybe exposure questions. So uh, let's do something more numerical. So what is the average and median of years smokes by answer? type. For this, like if a cancer type is super rare and you don't have a lot of sample sizes, if you have one case or two cases related to this cancer type, maybe the average is not representative. So I want Genie to uh, actually filter out those uh, small 
sample sizes. So I can say only include results with five or more patients. And essentially, I want Jenny to do a filter here and see if Jenny is able to understand that for me. As you can see, the description says it's try to filter the results to only include diagnosis with at least five patients. So you can see the average and the median. Um, but it also included all the cancer types that doesn't have this data point. These are cancer types are probably not related to, to lung cancers. So um, what I can do is to actually edit my question to say exclude no value. And now what you should understand is I don't want nodes to be included in the response. And now I have a clean table of average and medium as well as patient count. As you can see from the patient count, there's nothing that's below five, which is great. And now I can again uh, auto visualize it or this time we just want to visualize it as a line chart and to look at different cancer types and the average and the median on top of those cancer types. So that's the end user experience. One thing you will be also will be able to see as an end user is to see the data. So um, you can see different tables within it. You can see the uh, columns. If they would have had uh, more descriptions, you can see some table have descriptions and, and some column have descriptions as well. So like, you'll be able to see the descriptions and the columns. Um, you can also see the data in the Catalog Explorer. Now, as the admin person, you'll be able to do uh, more setup with the Genie uh, space, first thing settings. And this these are the settings you need to do when you set up a Genie space. Uh, you need to pick the SQL warehouse that's associated with it. You can pick different tables that you want to put in this genie space. You can also put uh, sample questions. If you want to um, have like sample questions be presented in the new chat, if you don't do this, then genie will like analyze your data and um, basically give automatically generated sample questions. And um, you can do the monitoring, um, which means you can see the different questions and ratings. So users are able to upload or download a answer. Or you can see the ratings for those questions as well and who has run those questions and when are they created and so on and so forth. And you should be able to also do instructions for Genie. So you can say use abbreviations or this stands for that and basically train Genie's behavior to tailor to what your organization's needs are. You can also give it sample SQL queries and try to get Genie to learn from those SQL queries. So that's very useful in tuning like Genie's behavior specifically for your use case. So Thank you for watching Data Leaps. If you think the content is useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it.